been on the podium no less than 36 times in his career. 32-year-old from Rupolding, one of the meccas of biathlon, and he's... Uh, one of the most popular athletes on the tour as well. He's got a good lesson for newcomers to the sport. He says uh, when he started there were athletes he looked up to like Klaus Siebert, Frank Peter Roach who's now involved in coaching, Fritz Fischer who's also there with the men's team. But he says you can't copy what they do. It's no use following someone else's footsteps. You have to do your own thinking, plan your own way and think of something new to do. And then stick to it, he says. Find your way and stay with it. Well, he's picked up many relay golds in his career, but it wasn't until 1997 that he picked up a gold in the individual. Here he is coming in in the head of Reshenkov and Gredler to claim his first ever major championship gold. In 1999, things went even better. He got the silver in the individual in the world championships there. He recognized his strengths very early on, saying... It's the shooting, for sure, he says. He says he has an advantage there compared to many of the other athletes. And over the seasons, his skiing has improved as well. And that's why he's risen up through the ranks. He's got a huge amount of respect for the two main names in the biathlon at the moment, Poiré and Bjorn Dahlen. He says he's really good friends with Ole Einer and Raphael. He says they're fantastic athletes. And he's got uh, a lot of respect. They've all got a lot of respect for each other. And there's a, a certain unique friendship that builds up as they travel on the tour month after month, year after year. And he says because of that, the biathlon scene is really special. Well, he started uh, with a very positive attitude in every single race. He has a phenomenal belief in himself. He says the aim of every athlete who's ranked in the top ten should be, should be to win a medal. If you go there and you hope for something between fourth and eighth, you uh, really have no chance of finishing on the podium. You have to approach every race with the right mental at attitude. And he says, if I enter a race, I go in it to win it. And he'll give everything, fight right to the line to ensure that that's what he does. Well, he still can't believe how popular the uh, sport of biathlon is and how much sport support he gets down in Germany. He says he doesn't know how many people turn up, but they say something like 60,000 people come to Rupolding over the biathlon weekend, and the television ratings are just going through the roof. He finds it... Uh, quite amazing that uh, the sport is so popular and as the athlete's representative why does he think it's so popular he says well it's it's about the fairness of the sport he says with the shooting the results can turn around in a second we've just seen that in the women's mass start and it's the tension of that very last shot it's no use hitting 18 and then missing the last two you really have no chance of winning if that's what happens happens it's a complex sport it's unpredictable he says the crowd find it interesting and so do the biathletes themselves and that's why it goes from strength to strength well he's notched up 20 years of biathlon in his career but before he started that he was a cross-country skier as well he says, uh, of course he started with cross country, that's just about how all athletes do it. He says, <laughs> and most of the biathletes, like himself, find it really boring. So after a few years, he decided to try your hand with a rifle. He says once he was into shooting, he just found it fascinating and uh, really appreciated the mental struggle that you go through as well as the physical struggle. And he says, by the way, there are no cross-country skiers. They're just biathletes without a rifle. Well, he's got 